All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VWE Edge. We are excited tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because we are one week away from the one of the largest free previews in the VWE Beach Brawl. We're going to have fun in the sun, beautiful bombshells in bikinis, and some of the best wrestling you have ever seen. And tonight, folks, we are going to And join us on commentary tonight. You are very, very far right. Nick Patrick Halderman. And I is right. And in the lovely middle. <laughs> the always sinfully devilish Maxine Darkwatch. And I, of course, am the legendary hero and VWE chairman, Ben Bay Kirix, who welcome you all tonight. Folks, we have one hell of a card starting off with tonight, but unfortunately, with the good must come some bad, and we do have some words from a couple of individuals. Yeah, especially this cl close to Beach Brawl, of course, those type of individuals tend to get chatty. Yeah. Well, without any further ado, let's, let's go ahead and get this over with here. Well, I wish this guy would save his breath. He's going to need it later for his inflatable date. You definitely tell the crowd is not behind self proclaimed perfection and current king of the arena, Bryce Ketterly. And of course, spouting off with the king of the arena robes and briefcase contract. Such disrespect, Cody. Cody. Cody, do you see what happens when royalty steps into the ring in the front of peasants? <laughs> you see, this is why I wanted you to join with me. I wanted you to see how fickle these fans really are. Look at them. Every single one of them are booing me right now. Because they know they can never be as perfect as I am. Now, Cody, I don't want you to have to speak to any of these peasants here tonight. So you know what? I will speak for you. A knight like you, such a trusting knight, deserves to hear the words of this gracious king. Now... I am out here tonight to, you know, talk about a little match that will be occurring in about, uh, let's say, seven days. If you haven't heard about it, where have you been? 
finally you will see a true world heavyweight champion after I wipe the slate of the lug nuts, Benja Nirvana, and gain what is rightfully mine and what I most deserve, the world heavyweight championship. But tonight, I, I don't expect any of you to actually understand what I'm saying. But I'm going to continue in my own way because apparently you guys still don't understand the fact that you shut your mouth when your king is speaking. Anyways. Benja Nirvana, I want you to understand something. What I did last week was to help you understand something. Because apparently something that's going through that big ass skull of yours. I know it's full of hot air. I, I don't know what's oozing out of your ears. Probably a little bit of blood after Cody smashed you in the head with a steel chair. Or it could be after I hit you with the perfect ending at the in the ramp. But again, I'm out here to prove a lesson to you. I wanted to let you know and I wanted to show these fans. You can be beaten. A seven foot two giant is just like any other man. I will scale, I will do anything I have to to end that worthless reign of yours. <laughs> I'm going to wipe all right, the all right, clean all right. Up. Am I getting in? What are you, you know? What like? Bryce? I think I think it's time to go ahead and put an end to your babble. Because at this point, that's all you're doing is babbling. Babble. babble. Yes, that's yes. right. You heard him. Blah 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 blah. So, brace, Mister Perfection. I have an idea tonight. Uh, oh, for idea. what? Hold on, folks. Both... He's got an idea. For what both you and Cody pulled last week. Now, Bryce, for once, I'm not going to say to your ego, Cody. Cody, my boy. Man, I have never been more disappointed in a U.S. champion before. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Here's what you're going to do, Cody. For your actions last week... You, my friend, <laughs> are going to defend that title next week. Wait, 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 hold on, wait. When next week? Because there, there's Clash of the Beach, and there's Beach Brawl. He, he is available at Beach Brawl, and you know that, Ben. He's he not is defending his belt at Beach Brawl. <laughs> he will be there, Cody. You know, you know what? Fine, fine. That's fine. He, he uh, that's that's perfectly fine, Cody. Don't worry. You, you'll be. At the, he's he can't and think. There's no one who can beat you, Cody. Your opponent for that match. You can't think of anybody. You will find out tonight because. And now, as much as I hate to do this, I must turn my attention back to your little puppet master here. So, Ketterly, you, my friend. It's king. You. you, my friend, are going to have a match tonight. And tonight I have a match and a week. with Mr. Mr. Cody Hooley. Watch my words. Watch my words. I am the chairman. I am the boss. I can take that belt away if I so choose. Keep that in mind. Now, you, Mr. Kennedy, are going to be having a match tonight against your opponent at Beach Brawl. No, what? As <laughs> are you, Cody. Because tonight, folks, I am changing the main event. The main event is now going to be Benjamin Nirvana and his partner going up 
against Bryce Ketterly and Cody Hooley. Wait, wait, A little gonna... preview for next week for all of you wonderful fans. So you're not going to tell us who... Okay, okay that, that's ridiculous. Royals. You're not even going to tell who his opponent is. That, that, that's unfair. That's another unfair move. Cody. A worthless... Cody. Your opponent... <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> get the hell out of here. What is that? Oh, God. Come on, Cody. We got to get back safe. <laughs> yeah, time to get in your trunks, boys. Hit the bricks, juniors. <laughs> Very well done, Ben May. I do have to say. Great move, man. Great move. Thank you very much, and folks, looking also forward to tonight. So, without any further ado, once the clown duo gets out of sight here, we will get started with the first match. Yeah, do you want me to go ahead and announce this one, Benway? Sure thing. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. When the bell rings, referee in charge, Kane Torres. Introducing first, she comes... She stands 5 foot 9 inches tall and weighs in tonight at 145 pounds. She is Shelly Labod. This is this is a hell of a contest. It's going to be a tough one for Shelly in this. Oh, most certainly. And as Kane does his job and checks Shelly for weapons here, as she says hi to the crowd. What? This is a great, great choice of opponent for her here, Ben Bay. I gotta say. He's flirting with the referee, and Kane's trying to get her into the corner. <laughs> but, uh, All right, I think it's time. All right, her opponent coming to us from Washington, D.C., Standing five foot one inches tall and weighing in tonight at one hundred pounds, the American athlete Nanny Gothley. Maxine, if you had to pick a winner right now, who do you think is going to win this contest? Between these two women, I absolutely cannot pick a winner. This is going to be damn close. Both women are excellent athletes. Both are physically fit, and only the Lao know what the hell is going to happen in this ring here tonight. Yes, Ben Bay, what do you who do you think is going to pull this one out here, Ben Bay? That is a very, very difficult to say, but you always, 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 uh, well, got to look at the American athlete. She is a tough challenge for anyone, and we'll see how she does against Shelly here tonight. As uh, Nanny gives up eight inches and forty-five pounds to Shelly, so she's going to definitely seems... take the. I'm good. I definitely take the taller woman out at the knees to get her on her level. 
Well, and it seems that, like, Kane ate the proper brownies today because cause he's actually in there checking the girls. If you no noticed the last couple times I was in the ring, <laughs> no, I did not get che checked. I got a... Yeah, screw that. <laughs> I think he had a five-hour energy today. And we've got ourselves a lockup here. to shove down by <laughs> Shelly. Showing off that brute strength she has over Nanny. Nanny now seeming to take control of that armbar. These late ladies keeping it extremely technical here here in the first go go of this match and I didn't expect anything less. Shelly coming back with a brutal shoulder block. And if it's fair to say at this point, Shelly is just in complete control of Nanny here. And Shelly give to Leonard she can't be serious. If there's one thing I know for sure here, Maxine, you do not want to piss Nanny Gothley off. Oh, absolutely not. Not N Nanny is an absolute little spit f fire. Like I s said here before this match got started, this is going to be, be damn right down the middle. I think I have to tend to agree with you on that. And Nanny with a nice drop kick and both women up to their vertical base now. And Shelly hit the canvas hard there. But she is right back to her feet. And an armbar takedown here by Nanny. This Got is going to be. To those ropes. This is going to be, be one of the few opponents that Nanny is going to face that is going to bounce right back up that fast after any type of toss or turn. Yeah, and. Nanny, uh, Shelly, in near those ropes, referee's got to look for a rope break here. For those of you who don't know, you want your opponent to be in perfect position. Center ring, if you can, on those type of moves. Nanny off the ropes. ropes. Ooh, Shelly coming off with a nasty spine buster. Indeed, I felt the impact of that sitting over here. Shelly just showing ultimate disrespect to Nanny here. Yeah, but then again, she does have a point. It certainly does seem that way, as disrespect is further given with that elbow drop. You know, Maxine, Shelly seems to me like the honey badger. She just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Lau, dear Lau. <laughs> Shelly taking <laughs> Shelly taking her time to give Nanny a hard time and not with her fist. 
just before, before she helped her up to her feet and sent her for a ride. Maxine, you and I both know those corner turnbuckles. They're not really pat that much padding. It looks like a lot, but... It's probably just newspaper or something, right? No, and figuring the fact that behind it is one nasty steel bolt, you definitely feel that, that when your lower ba back collides into it, or in the case of Nanny, her entire back. Yeah, referee used, got up to a two count there. He has until five to get in that corner for Shelly to get Nanny out of there. And he only made it up to a two. The referee is starting his five count again. Three. Giving no quarter, just about re ready to call that five. Shelly backing out just in time. Ain't saying he's not going to tell her again, but, uh, Shelly now, she's grabbing her by the leg and actually showing some smart strategy here, Maxine, dragging Nanny to the center of the ring. That's just called ring awareness there, Nick. Nick. She knows exa exactly where she's at and knows that if she were to try to get a pinfall right th there, that Kane would not be counting it. And here she goes for it now. We got to cover. One, two, no. It's going to take a lot more than that to put Nanny out, if I know a Nanny. Come on, folks. Let's get make some noise up in here. We're... This ain't a, a damn library. library. Oh, and we got, got a roll up. One, two. Kane only calling a two on that. She's seeming to be in a lot of pain here. She has taken a lot of abuse and a lot of it seemingly on the metal supports that are underneath the ring here, Maxine. Absolutely. Right across those cross bars if uh, my ca camera is not deceiving me here. Those are solid steel, folks. Those are not light to land on, and it's no picnic. We have a wrist lock here. Dirk saying, not today, Justin. Uh, it'll have to work hard to take him down. It's not going to be easy. This is, this is a tough one to call here, Ben Bay. Feelings oh, be and, the first person and that Kumi kick. Beautiful move. And a drop kick here by Surik. I think the first, like I said, I think the first person to screw up in this match is going to end up losing it, I think. And we got to cover. Or free in position I mean, down. Uh, no, just a one count. Yeah, I think it's going to take a lot more than that one. That to put out Justin here. Sir now bowing in respect. Showing see, his but... opponent some honor.
and just not returning it, coming in with a leg kick. And I, I think that's going to piss off Surakir. Just encountering that face buster with a back body drop. And that, did you guys hear the thud of Surik's body hitting that steel there? That was sickening. Yeah, it sounds like, like he hit the edge there. Intended, Maxine. <laughs> no one intended. I blinked. I was, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I had to say something about that. You know I did, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Justin going for a cover here. One. And just a one count. Just a one. Yeah, he'll definitely have to do more, way more damage than that. Yeah, he's gonna try not to get frustrated, too. I know it's tough, but if he's gonna win this, he's gotta stay focused. Headlocked now by Surik. Oh, Surik taking offense to the show of disrespect that boot after he bowed. Saying he that Justin now needs to defend himself. Well, Justin did defend himself because uh, Sir <laughs> Sir Sir's on the outside end. Folks, that is not much padding at all, is it, Maxine? Well, no, that what wasn't exactly defending himself. He ducked out of the way at the right t time. Sir toppling over the top rope there. A senton bomb and both men now on the outside. One has to wonder if Kane Torres will be starting his 10 count here soon. And there he is. Starting that 10 count, he's at 1 now. Trying to get them back inside the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, if both, neither man makes it back inside the ring, it is a double count out. Referee up to two now. Ooh, Justin tossing Sirik into those steps. steps. Ben -Ben, and ducking kind of into match, the ring, resetting the count. Me if I'm wrong here, Ben Bay, but this is not a hardcore match, is it? Ah, uh, no, it is not. Well, we've just had a little bit of one on the outside as a uh, Surik goes right into those steps. He is slow to get to his feet after that nasty little bounce into the steps. I think that just pissed off Sirk a little bit more. And that's not that's the last thing Justin needs right about now. And a drop kick here by Justin. And for one And looks like just a one count. Now a kick to the gut. Oh, schoolboy here. 
Kane's okay. down. Two. One, two. No, just a two count. Folks, don't blink. You'll miss a pin here, possibly. You'll miss some great action if you blank here. Zurich gets right back up to his feet. <laughs> what, David, you have bets on them? No, he makes predictions on Facebook. Yeah, I know. I know. I didn't know if he also bet on them, too. Just wanted to clarify. Zurich coming in with a spear, knocking Justin on his ass. And Zurich seeming to stalk his prey here. Zurich spears him again. Zurich what? helping Justin to center a ring more than aware that they were entirely too close to the ropes. What is Zurek thinking here? I don't know. But it can't be good for Justin. Ooh! Ooh, what a what a move there and the referee's out. A kneeling and power bomb sending Oh, dear lord, no idea what exactly ha happened. Justin flipped Zurich into Kane. Um, That's not going to be good. Do we have a backup ref? I just, I'm just, want, I'm just, uh, here. Typically, Kane has enough personalities to be his backup ref, but... Yeah, uh, you might want to look into getting a backup referee, just in case. Um... Just a little suggestion, sir. It's... Oh boy, Kane got a bump to the head. It's not like he needs any more personalities floating around in there. I wonder if he has a Hulk smash personality. Mm, more than likely. Considering how much he gets picked on here. Hurricane Smash. Zurich saying, Sinja, you're next as he helps Zurich up and. Hits him with the honor driver. And what in the blue hell is this? Someone running to the ring. That, that It looks like Sinja. Sinja. What the hell? I thought, I thought he wasn't supposed to... Uh... Beach pool. What, what the Sinja knows... Sinja knows the rules. I... He could be just watching. I mean, there's technically no rules about him watching. He's on the ring. He's in the ring now. Ah, uh, Shinjo, what the hell are you doing? This is not going to end well. And the referee is out. The referee is powerless to do anything. Not that he would be power. Not that he could do anything any really anyway once he was up because two stronger Sir, guys in there. Pu putting his entire attention onto Shinjo.
Oh dear father. Oh my god. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> ben Bay? We gotta get some control out here, Ben Bay. This this is just the Hold on just a second here. Backstage. Here it is. Backstage. See, everyone seems like out in the ring at Justin just coming to here. As is Kane on top of that. And Justin now going to oh, the corner. No. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You know, I I don't think Justin knows what happened. I honestly don't think Justin knows what happened here, Maxine. I'd imagine not. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I think it's. I think it is about. Oh, 450 splash! And Justin has no clue what happened. The electric boogaloo and a cover. Kane counts it one, two, three. The winner of this contest via pinfall. The electric one, Justin struck. Uh, I don't think any. I don't think neither any of these two know what's going on here. I don't know why they attack you, Kane. And what? What the hell? Sinja is in the ring on the apron. And your winner by pinfall, Justin Strzok. Wait, what the hell is Shinja still doing here? I don't know, Ben. Your guess is as good as mine. I, Didn't I he just cost himself the ma match next week? I think he might have, but... Uh... What in the blue hell is going on here? All right, all right, that's it, that's it. Shinja, you're out of the match next week. You violated the terms of the contract. You've left me no other choice, Shinja. Nice call, Ben. Yeah, I, I agree with your decision on this. I hate to do it, it was a great... Great match. Oh. And he's lo looking up mm -hmm. the ramp like he was expecting somebody to be up there. Uh, and he's what in the hell? Huh? What? What the? Um, you know production. Anything? He's already. Down. What the hell is going on back there? I think production made a deal with the guys. I don't know. Maybe they got one of Kane's brownies. I don't know. Wait, what? The what? fuck do you mean? He's right here. Ben Bay, I thought this arena was no smoking. Um, Ben, look at the ramp. Interesting. My first night here, I was told this arena was no smoking, Ben Bay. What the hell? Eh, we have smoking occasionally. But this is... Um, interesting. What? What the fuckery? Ben, would you mind enlightening the rest of us just what the fuck's going on? Huh. It seems that Shinja actually has a double here. Hmm. Wow. I, I don't know what to make of this. 
Um, the last Apple Ganger I've seen has been gone for a while. Yeah, and he was a real dick, too. Hmm. All right, Shinja, I'll let you have a chance to explain. You want some popcorn, Benbei? I think we're gonna need it. Sinja goes, well, you see, hero, the contract clearly said I cannot attack Zurich. It didn't say anything about me hiring a personal shadow. So, why don't you correct yourself? <laughs> Fair enough, Shinja. And tell them the match at Beach Brawl is still on. <laughs> Fair enough, Shinja. You found a loophole in the little contract. Congratulations. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your match. <laughs> As for me, I've got asses in production to kick. So, to uh, the both of you, I say uh, good night for now. Good night, Ben Bay. And I hope hopefully you can get one of their Krispy Kremes. Because I heard they have Krispy Kremes back there, so. He's saying, from the beginning, sir, if you've walked right into my web, week after week I wrapped you up like a spider wrapping its prey. Now the time has come at Beach Girl, I will devalue you, limb by limb, piece by piece. <laughs> see then, sa see then, samurai. And Sirik replies, in one week, Sinja, you're mine. I think we're going to see business picking up there. And, uh... So we'll be back, right? I'm being told we need to throw it to a break. We will be see you on the other side. It's time to say hello to our sponsors.
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, TJ Tyler here at the table taking over for Ben. Uh, let's see, so far we had Nanny versus Shelly, of course a great match. We've heard some words from Bryce and Cody, but some more heavier words from Ben. And then of course this match with Shinja finding that loophole in the contract. Whew! Maxine, Nick, are the two of you ready? It's been a cr it's been crazy, but uh, do we have more sp sponsors that we need to say hello to? Um, I think we have. I think we have. Let me see. Yep, we do have more sponsors. All you right, want me to take uh, I'll start it, and we can. You want me to, you want us, me to take one? We take it down the line that way. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming out to Edge tonight. We would like to recognize our sponsors that pay the bills so you all can enjoy the thrills of the VWE. Do you want to learn about your favorite Second Life wrestler? Go to tyrusdenova.blogspot.com. It's being shouted in local chat. That is the place you want to go. It's updated weekly with over tw or a different wrestler being interviewed. 20 interviews plus already with tons of veterans in the sport of SL Wrestling. Also, always looking for more talent to interview, so contact her in World, Tyrus Cerebi, or on Facebook. And of course, we also have Eyeing Memories by Kehlani Velistar, has been capturing smiles for well over a year now. From customized profile pictures to capturing the moment you say, I do, and everything in between. For pricing or appointment, please contact Kehlani Velistar. We'd also like to thank our other sponsors, Baby Dolls Lingerie. Be sure to visit their main store for their complete selection of dresses, costumes, lingerie, and swimwear. You will find more designs, more colors, and all new releases. They also have a kiosk located at the front of the Metadome. And of course, our other sponsors, Kicker Park and the True Value Store. If you would like landmarks or any further information about our sponsors, please take a look at the ad boards located at the front of the arena, hanging directly above the main entrance behind our commentators. Yes, and also, if you want to have a way for, to promote yourself or your place of business, Outside of the normal means of simple ad boards or wasting your money on classifieds. If you want your products or services to be seen and heard in front of a live audience as well as on demand, VWE is now offering sponsorship packages. They have four unique packages, each tailor made to fit anybody's budget and each with their own perks. VWE sponsorship is a great way to promote your products and services as we promote you through our arena on our website, during our two weekly live shows, and on our show event replays. Feel free to contact Bryce Kyrily for pricing packages, or click one of the open ad board locations located directly above the main entrance. And of course, we could not be doing this if we didn't get those donations from the fans like you. So if you feel inclined to do so, then click the clicky thing. It is in the main hall where, of course, you will also find the t-shirts and all the other fun stuff. We even have a marketplace store being shouted twice, not once, but twice. We have our new brand spanking new VWE website and of course the free gestures and TVs to our left and right. Alrighty. And, and upcoming we have Beach Brawl on 15 June 2012. 5 Next and week, one week course. from today. Yep, and of course Monday, that Beach Brawl Fam Week. Everyone has got to be there. I know that every wrestler is getting those autographs ready for y'all, so... Whew. Yeah, I went for my photo shoot today. Yeah, I still I have to go for mine, but... Yeah, I still <laughs> have to do mine too. Don't know what it's going to be yet, but yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty much orange. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Seeing that production says that they are ready for it, I think it's about time we head into our third match of the evening. All right, TJ, do you want me to announce this one? Uh, yeah, you'll take the first one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a mixed tag match, and it is scheduled for one fall when the bell rings your referee in charge, Kane Torres.
Introducing first, team number one, first coming to us from Sydney, Australia, who weighs in at 230 pounds. He stands six foot three inches tall. This is Josh Poffo, his tag team partner from Yum Yum, Tennessee, weighing in tonight at 130 pounds. Standing five foot seven inches tall, Marionetta the, twist, the Trickster, and she is accompanied with Mr. Smiley. And of course, if I see it right, they are also accompanied by it Jake is intergender. Poffo. Yes, and it is an intergender match. I was just in oh, no. of that mistake. Wait, that's not Jake Poffo. That's that's our other Aussie. That's Sander Lucas. Yes. Uh, seems he's going to be walking out with Josh and Marionetta here. Uh, it's good to see Marionetta again. I mean, you got to love this girl. <laughs> the stuff that she pulls off. Always yeah. great to see her. And Kane, I just have to say this. you got to be in the ring with Bryce later today. Sorry about your damn luck. Alrighty. Definitely great to see a match like this here at the VWE this close before Beach Brawl. Josh having a bit of issues with Dark of late, so let's see what this intergender match is going to do. Maybe, maybe he can uh, put a little ass whooping over Dark Cult. It would be nice well, to see. I mean... TJ, Josh you remember is... on uh, primetime, uh, Xander got a injured arm from Derek yeah. Colt. Yeah, Derek on a yeah, And I think Paybacks are going to be a bitch here tonight. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. With Marionetta in the fray, you never know what's going to hit you. Alrighty, it is time to bring out the other team. And I won't right, let you do that see. because I don't like these guys. Yeah, I know. I'll do it. Alrighty, making his way to the ring from Houston, Texas, standing at 6 feet 7, weighing 249 pounds. He is the great one, Derek Colt. And, of course, being accompanied by his tag team partner, weighing just the right amount from Los Angeles, California, standing at 5 feet 11, Ruby Jules. This is going to be an action, and, uh, TJ, not to put you on the spot, but I'm about to. Uh, <laughs> uh, who do you think is going to win this contest? Oh, I mean, that I hate to do that, man. It's a difficult but... one. It's a difficult one, Nick. I don't know. I mean, I've known Derek for a long while, but Josh, Sander, Marionetta. I'm I'm gonna go for them. Josh is really on a roll these days, and he must be fueled by anger. And I know firsthand how that goes. When you're at that stage, you just do everything possible to win. So this is definitely in Josh's court. I definitely think it could be, but well, and concerning the fa fact that it's been so lo long since Ruby's been in the ring, I'm surprised she remembered how, how to lace up her boots properly. She has had... been very, very busy with that Ruby perfume of her trying to sell it. I don't know if that has oh, been a great God. success, but... Ma Maxine, she probably had Derek do it for her. <laughs> All right, and I just and want to say, course... um, uh, Mountain Stream is better, Ruby Cola sucks. That is all. And of course, for those people that are new to the VWE and have never seen a intergender match, it's guys versus guys, girls versus girls. So if Josh tags Marionetta, then Ruby has to get into the ring. Wait a second, I'm being told it's not that. Intergender is guys can attack women, TJ. Oh. Yeah, mixed tag is... I probably have been spending way too much time sorting the green stuff with honey, so... Yeah. <laughs> hey, someone gotta create the stash. 
But you know, you know, it would be great to see and Josh having to take on Ruby. Ruby, that will be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to see that. Maybe she'll get what's coming to her. Who knows? Uh, who knows? <laughs> Dirk starting it off already with the chops. And we're into a boxing match, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and that is the last thing you want to do when you're standing face to face with their cult. But Josh has proved that wrong. You know, I thought um, I thought I kind of saw Derek smiling a little bit as he was walking down here. His smile would make a stripper nervous. <laughs> and Marionetta confusing Josh for Yoshi. That's going to be interesting. Yoshi's hungry. <laughs> okay, now that was just scary. <laughs> okay, um, wow. That's yours. about the only impersonation I can do half these. <laughs> In the meanwhile, Derek came off the ropes, knee to the gut to Josh, sending him down. Derek definitely taking that upper hand, but can he keep it? I mean, with Marionetta in the corner, you never know what to expect. And Marionetta's telling Derek to say her name, Baldy. <laughs> Gotta love Marionetta. <laughs> She In production, screaming at me never one. to do that again. <laughs> she is the first one that has the guts to call him like that. <laughs> guts or balls? What do you... <laughs> I would say guts in this event. <laughs> oh, big boot to the face from Derek. What? <laughs> See, that is, that is why I love Marionetta oh, so much. <laughs> she can take wrestling and Mario and combine the two. I'm just, I, I just hope she doesn't see Delirious in the ring with her. Dad up, folks. <laughs> Josh not following for it twice, ducking under the... Nasty punch Derek was th throwing. And so far in this course. match, we've had more hooks than a pirate convention. <laughs> Naked Patrick Haldeman on commentary table, ladies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know you secretly like it, even if you don't. If you even if you don't say it, want to say it out loud, you know you do. Yeah. Some anyway. of them are good, some of them are good. Kane, of course, keeping an eye on Xander, but we all know that Xander is oh. a good guy. Ooh, Josh coming off the ropes! Oh, <laughs> flying crossbody, sending Derek down on the his back. The Dundee Splash. Yes, and uh, Xander, you gotta be careful. You'll be accused of being in the ring in some places if you're up on the apron, but anyway. Eh... Uh. Xander might be a little bit fresh. I think that Josh has gave him enough pointers to make sure that he doesn't get Josh in trouble. Uh, just look at Derek stumbling back. No, no, no. Is he gonna? Is he gonna actually tag in Ruby here? Is he gonna actually I tag in Ruby? I would be surprised if he tags in Ruby here. Uh, oh my god! Apparently he does. Oh my god. Let's see what Josh is gonna do. Is Josh gonna stand there or is he gonna Derek. take Marionetta? <laughs> Making Ruby get in with Josh. Ruby's saying, What are you gonna hit me? Um, Ruby, uh, you're, you're um, That's kind of the name man. of the game there, honey child. Ooh, it's going Ruby to happen. Slapping Josh. Uh, apparently, he doesn't like this slap so much, and Marionetta wants in. Well, if some, I can Boy. tell you this right now. If, if somebody slapped me, TJ, they would, they would see what Five Fingers said to the face. Man or woman, it does, doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit touchy on that, but 
Apparently, Marionetta is ready to go just pounding Doing away on what, Ruby. what just about everybody in the VWE wants to do to her, just rearranging her face. Personally, I'd like to see Ruby busted open, but we'll see if that happens. I must say, though, Josh and Marionetta are in the advantage here, having Xander at ringside. It's that Ruby little... in with the cheap shot and punting Marionette in the gut. Yeah, the, the advantage of having Xander out there, TJ, is you can actually have somebody who can argue calls for you with the referee. Yeah, that you can. That Doesn't you take can. your opponent mind off your opponent. Then again, in Xander's, event, in Xander's case, I think that Josh is pretty much helping Xander out with training and stuff. So he might have a good base already on how these matches go. Yeah, Mary rolling good. thunder. Mary go round turn upside down. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the circus is in town. Pinfall one, two. Uh, Marinetta so saying it was 10, but... Um... You're saying that was 3, Kane. He's doing a good job as a manager. He's got to, you know, when things don't go your way, bring it up to the referee, get in his face a little bit, you know? Well, I mean, you got to keep in mind, Kane hasn't gotten the training that we wrestlers got. So, we have a pin uh, here. Hold little on. We have a bump. Pin. One, two, just a two. No, down. just. And it's reversed. And uh, again. Uh, one. One, two. two. No. Ooh. Renetta <laughs> saying it was 20. <laughs> See, that's why I love Marionetta so much. She can keep going in the ring. Ooh, that's and crazy. another roll up! One! Two! No. Ruby coming oh, off the ropes. Marionetta sitting. Ding quick, dong, Domino quick. Pizza at the door. <sighs> that was so quick. You blink and you miss a pin there, guys. And we got yeah. another cover. No, Kane just, just two calling times. two on that. Kane trying to keep himself intact here. And you're telling uh, Marionetta to tag out and Oh dear God. God no. Tagged in Derek Colt. Uh, Marionetta seeing stars. Ruby out of the ring. What is Derek going to do here? Is he actually going to stoop that low that he's going to hit a girl? I would not put it past him. Oh, snap, Ooh. suplex. Uh, the only Look at him being all proud of himself. Honestly, if you if you get attacked first, then I think it's fair game. But if you attack first, you're the asshole. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Just and stomping Derek on is, Marionetta, uh, keeping her down. He's a major league asshole. Definitely. What the hell is Derek doing there? Twisting and bending that arm of Marionetta in ways that is physically it keeps over wrenching that wrist lock. God, Marionette caught in the well, ropes with and very, very bad placement of their call here. And referee uh, didn't do his job there and let and let him keep her in the ropes a little bit there. I think Kane is a little bit shaken from everything. 
Up, down, up, down. Josh is, right, I... of course, standing at the ready. Oh, I guess you're... shit. Oh, shit. This, this is not going to go well. He still got, got Marionetta trapped. He's got... Yeah. Derek's going to break her arm! I think he, he wants to beat her over like the head this, with yeah. her own arm. I think Derek wants to beat her over her own head with her own arm. Well, I think it's about time that Kane steps in to make sure that Marionetta stays safe. Come on, Kane. Man up. Get in there. Grow a set. Kane's trying to ke keep oh. Josh out of the oh. rain. Nice! Testicular claw from Marionetta going for the balls. There we go. I have to wonder if Derek has the biggest balls of all, but anyway. <laughs> and he poured in a goddamn storm here. Hearing well, that uh, crawling say... off to the other s side, trying to get that tag in on Josh. I and... must say that was the smartest move Marionetta ever did, and I'm not gonna like her less because she did that. Me either, but uh, Ruby, you know just as well as anyone, if the referee didn't see it, it never happened. So kindly, shut up at your face, as Santino would say. I shut you your mouth. Yeah. If you're going to pretend to be Italian, you got to make sure you get it right, True. even if you are quoting a bad Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Derek nursing the family jewels as he get, gets uh, up. Josh in with those heavy strikes back and Derek up to the corner again. They go for the knees. He's got to get him down to his own level here. Ooh, devastating clothesline to that corner. And Derek locked a little loopy here. I would Missile drop kick. Better kick that uh, canvas missile hard. Drop kick down. That is that quickness, that speed that Josh can bring. Before you know it, you've got two feet standing in your chest and you're going down already. And we got to cover. One, two, no. Kane sees that Derek got his shoulder up. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with Marionetta here. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm gonna steal it from you. People, this is not a library. This is the VWE. You're allowed to make noise here. And trust me, they love it when you make noise for them. So Come on, give it up, people! Super kick to the face! Oh, caught! Caught! Oh, God! The oldest move in pro wrestling history, the Greco-Roman Irick. Ooh, Derek just hammering with those fists. <laughs> Marionetta still thinking that Josh is Yoshi. But that's not Marionetta, that's someone in the crowd. No, 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 no. It's Marionetta. Oh. Hi, Yoshi! Give <laughs> me <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, I miss this shit. Ooh, nice backbreaker by Derek. He did that on one of those cross braces underneath the ring that is metal. And uh, TJ, you know as well as everyone else here at the table, those hurt as we have a pin. Derek with the cover. One, two, no. Yeah, a backbreaker is not a nice feeling. Getting that knee in the small of your back. Nah, not a good thing. Josh, he's finding it. Trying to find a way to beat Derek is as hard as trying to find a pubic hair at a Justin Bieber concert. Oh, what is Derek thinking? 
Ruby with a oh, strong kick. Ruby taking the chance that Josh is on the outside. Dropping down on him. Xander just standing back. Uh, he should have got in there, Maxine. I know he's about fair play and everything, but the ref's back was turned. He wouldn't have been any the wiser. None of these fans would have said anything bad to him about it. We wouldn't have said anything bad to him about it. And Derek with the cover getting a two. Um, should I tell Kane how he got back in there? Uh, too late now, video. anyway. Yeah. No, Ruby drop kicked him, and then he. And then she uh, back the Nick, ring. Nick, she ain't going to say, say you. She did what you saw her do, so don't even yeah, waste point. your goddamn breath. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good point. But I wouldn't believe her if her tongue was notarized. I must say, though, Josh and Marionetta are keeping in there a long while. They're doing a great job against a team like Derek and Ruby. Should have curved us. Somebody eject him, please. <laughs> I wish I could. Uh, Ruby versus Marionetta again. You know, if I had a strong enough arm, I'd throw a fucking mountain stream can at him. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> They put Ruby the and Marionetta the testing their strength. Monkey flip from Marionetta, sending. Ruby hey, that's up the best way, way to deal with the uh, with a finger lock. You're telling Marionetta to go for the pin, but she's going to the corner here. Is she gonna? Is she gonna fly again? I'm thinking so. Up she goes. Up she goes, Ruby. Up on her feet, though. She thought about it too much. She thought about it too much. It's sad to say. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ding dong! The cootie cruncher, I guess you could call that. Ooh, and Ruby grabbing Marionetta by the neck with her legs, sending her through the sky down on her back. And I believe she calls that the facelift. Well, a facelift it is for sure, but is Marionetta going to be able to keep in there? Ruby just stomping oh. away on Marionetta, going for that rolling bridge pin. One, two, no. Not enough, not enough. <laughs> Marionetta thinking that it is a submission. <laughs> Saying I refuse <laughs> to say her name. <laughs> hey, she studied up. <laughs> if she starts eating cornbread, we'd have a problem there, but Oh my god, a female Derek. Uh <laughs> Lord no. Please. Uh... One Derek is enough, let alone stand a female version of him. Ruby helping Marionette to her feet and gets rewarded with an insecurity to the side of the head. Maybe that will shake her brains up a bit. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's not going to get her any more intelligence. Wait, she was that to begin with? You know, if, you know, if you I'm not saying she was. I'm just saying that's not going to get her anymore. <laughs> you, you guys know if you took Derek Marianne and Ruby's brains stalking. and rolled them and bowled them into a drinking stryer, it looked like two kernels of corn being rolled down a storm drain. <laughs> Ooh, 
Marinetta oh. going no, 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 for no, no, a... No. Oh, oh, she, she oh. hit the ref! She hit the ref! Ruby pulling oh, a Matrix move as Marionette dropkicks Kane straight in the face. Open the fridge, Kane Taurus is out cold! I think Marionette is going to end up regretting this decision. Oh, and the twist of beauty, but Kane is out, so no one's there to count the pin. Yeah, that's what happens when you pull Matrix move like that. Wrong place, wrong time. Seriously, birthday party oh, for no. wrestler training. Don't you dare, Ruby. Oh, Ruby no. I, I know exactly what she's going for. Uh, hold on, Maxine. Hold on. There's a wild card here. Sander is still there, and he is keeping his but, eye on Ruby. But, TJ, he's shown so far he's not going to do anything. He needs to do something. He's no, he's a little. Right I now. hate, he hate is to keeping say to the rules. He is keeping to the rules. I love and hate to say say this. He's a little bit too straight laced to even get involved. He needs to start getting involved. I don't know. Ruby's nice got way. that can of ugly be gone. You, you know, being nice is everything. Is a is a great thing and everything, but. There are times when you gotta put a stop to stuff that you need, that you can, that you can. And the referee's down, he's not gonna DQ you, because he can't And see there it. we go, Josh, trying to intervene, making sure that Ruby doesn't activate that spray can. Trying to take it away from her. Derek also in the ring. Oh, no, this... Xander needs to be careful here, he... Josh fighting with Ruby, trying to get that can out of her hand. Hey, this is the moment where boys become men. This is where Sander has to make a choice. What is he going to do here? Is so he going to grow a pair, for... or is he going to stand there? So, TJ, you're saying it's time for Xander to man up. Yeah. I mean, against two cheaters like Ruby and Derek. Yeah. But then again, as a wrestler, I'm allowed to be biased, so... Derek taking Josh back out of the equation. <gasps> Sneak roll up! <laughs> Sneak roll up from... Oh, no! oh! Sneak roll up! One, two, three... <laughs> <laughs> and she gets the hell out of Dodge before Ruby can even think about using that can on her. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners by pinfall, Marionetta the Trickster, Josh Popo, and Xander Lucas, your favorite Australians. Kane, hey, uh, I'd get the hell out of the ring right now if I were you, if you value your life. I do not want to be backstage for the aftermath of this. Um. And get out of the ring now. Well, here's the thing, Aisha. Me and Maxine, we're both wrestlers here. We're allowed to be biased. Oh, yeah, hands. absolutely. Yeah. He needs to be unbiased. I, hey, I, hey, people get mad at me, they've yelled at me, I can be biased too. We're allowed to have opinions. Yes. We are We are three assholes, we're allowed opinions because every, they're like assholes, everybody has one. And some people are ones, but anyway. Alright, Kane, alright, Kane, here we go. Yeah, just, uh, just... Take a seat, Kane. You've got plenty of time. 
You've got plenty yeah. of time. All right, let's see what production. Um. All righty. Hold. They're gonna. There is second. going insane here. Um. Wow. Okay. Ladies. Let, let me ask for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We want to make get confirmation on this, and uh. We want to make sure this is correct information that we are getting. All right. Wait. What? what? No way. All right. I think I think I understand what the hell is going on here. Can I take the first one, please? Yeah. Go for go it. Go ahead. All right. Introducing first from the high rise towers in no, Dallas, oh, Texas. Maxine. Maxine. <laughs> Switch you're wrong room. on that. You. It, no, you're she was it right. Around on us. <laughs> Production going on haywire. Us. They are I switching it is... around on us. Jasper, did you mess around with the papers again? You fuckface. Okay, okay, I got it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, introducing first. I... Now that I think we got this right, yes, I do. Introducing first, hailing from Toronto, Canada, and Clemson, South Carolina, this is the team of Perfection, Bryce Ketterly, and the VWE United States Champion, the Broken Code, Cody Hooley. You know, Maxine, I, th I thought I heard some fist fight going a little fist fight going on in production for that a little bit to get to the button or something like that in the headphones there. Bryce and Cody, of course, both having a match at Beach Brawl. Bryce knows his opponent. Cody still unaware of his opponent as Bembe announced oh. here earlier this evening. Yeah, this um, little warm-up match for them. Yeah, and I still ain't got no notes for who Benja's opponent uh, partner is going to be for tonight. Same here, I, but I know that I that I'm gonna bring Benja out when uh, these two are in the ring. That's on me. Well, they technically are in the ring by being on the apron, but anyway. Yeah, but we gotta give him some time. I mean, every wrestler here is supposed to get a little... TJ, um, I think we're going to let Maxine take this one. Or... Uh, ben Benja is my buddy. Benja is my buddy. But we'll do it together, Maxine. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring from the high-rise towers in Dallas, Texas. He is your favorite. He is your big shot, Benja Nirvana. Okay, okay, production, can we... Please? Yes, people, this is the main event. You are allowed to make noise. Definitely when yes. it's Benja. We all love her, big Benja. Yes, uh, it is... Production. Make noise. Okay, okay. Uh, yes. I think we lost yes. feed of the production, guys. I think somebody put Krispy Kremes on top uh, of the Hold on, Benja does. is pointing to the entrance. What? Really? The... What? what? Oh. Yeah. My. Wow. Cody, uh, Bryce, uh. Ladies I would say... and gentlemen, judge, jury, Executioner from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, standing at six feet two, two hundred and thirty-three pounds, the gavel, a dune snowball. Eat that, Bryce. Cody, Bryce, I would say it's nice knowing you, but it's not. So, 
But, but, wait, Bryce, wasn't a Dune your favorite friend, Bryce? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Were the guys. two of you like the biggest buddies? Guys, um, I'm. Is it Aww, Bryce, you get getting this sort of boo. Wait a second, guys. Uh, is it me or do, do, am I the only one who notices big brown spots in the back of both of their trunks? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I mean, keep in mind, Benja and Adun, that is one team that has existed for a long while. These two are up for yes, a run. Yes, Bryce, that is exactly what Benbe said. Favorite trucker, lawyer, and judge, jury, and executioner, the gavel back at VWE. You know, uh, these two teamed up could bring some law and order to this match. And some well-deserved law and order at that. It is time the VWE gets cleaned up. And I fully believe these two are the gentlemen to go ahead and do so. Um, do keep in mind, Benja and Adun have a big history. I mean, Benja saved Adun's life pretty much last year by slamming a steel chair to the back of the head when Adun had that cracked solar plexus. So let's see in what shape Adun is. A doom back in the Vita. Jesus, I'm gonna be watching my steps from now on. <laughs> as you should, as you should. Let's hope that I've been good and that Santa Claus has uh, put me on a green list. Let's hope he doesn't give you t a red card like he did to Greece and Poland today. Uh, I didn't watch the football. <laughs> Benja and Adun versus Cody and Bryce for the main event. I am wondering one thing though, in what mood is Adun going to be? Are we going to see him how he was last time, going with rules? <laughs> What's that? Or are we going to see the judge, jury, and executioner again? Are we going to well, see that guy that the... cleaned up the VWE? Well, from the little bit that we have seen... Uh, of him as of late. And of course, this is the wrong time for my cell phone to be going off. <laughs> why, why wouldn't it be going off, right? Yeah, I think everybody's trying to figure out just what the fuck's going on here. <laughs> as if we us. know. <laughs> yeah. But the tiny little bit bit we have seen of a dune back around here as of late, I'm really believing that we are going to be seeing him keep to the rules and keep everything right down the middle. Is most certainly going to be the most interesting matchup. Indeed, and Cody's starting off with a wrist lock here. And then you're just shoving it off like it's nothing. <laughs> Ech, dust in the cable. It happens. Yes, I would have to agree with him with that. 
Yep. Dendra is a touch too big to be trying that tactic as he goes for a arm drag. Cody and Bryce never Ish. were brain surgeons, Maxine, so... Well, you don't need a neurosurgeon for this. Oh, well, keep in mind, Bryce is claiming that he is the king of the people and that Cody is his knight, so... Let's see if Cody will become the knight in shining armor and save Bryce Ketterly from damnation. Oh, drop toe hold! It looks like Benja's head hit the ropes, possibly his neck. No, I'm th thinking he's more go going to be the Black Knight. The one you don't want to see coming through. Well, I think Bryce has the Black Knight standing in the opposite corner. Ooh, elbow um, drop from Cody. Uh, you gotta do a lot though to keep the to keep the big shot down. It's not gonna be easy for him. Boots do him. Just look at that look in a dune in his eyes. You know the moment that that tag is gonna happen, he is gonna rip Bryce to pieces. Nothing against the rules about him looking at you, Bryce. Suck it up, Buttercup. Bryce, I'm gonna say two words that you probably have heard a lot of. Man up. Yeah, but Nick, you're forgetting that Bryce dropped his balls and they're in a jar with a certain person that... Uh, let's see what Benja is in the mood for. I mean, he's teaming up with the gavel. That That is going to put Benja in a completely different mood. Benja going over to the, for the ta tag with the d dune but even though, though he was saying he wanted to do one and what's going to happen uh, Cody, Cody lost and his Cody ran faster than a puppy on Google uh, where's the where's the Benny Hill music please <laughs> no Oh, poor Cody shitting his pants. <laughs> I, s I knew they had a brown tint to him. Well, then again, Cody is smart. He's not going to give a damn. He knows that Adun and Bryce have a <laughs> and huge And Bryce history. getting the hell out of Dodge before Adun can get his hands on him. Yeah, and Benja comes from the other end. Once again, if he ain't gonna get his ass kicked from one end, he'll get it from another. If he's on the outside side, <laughs> he's in Benja's territory. If he's inside, he's got a dune to deal with. I Cody's staying the hell him. away from him to make sure there's not an accidental tag. Oh! And clothesline sending Bryce down. Uh, I feel sorry for the one that, do, that is doing Bryce's laundry. Whew, will that smell by the end I of don't. the evening? Yeah, those stains TJ? don't come out. TJ? I don't, because they're doing Bryce's laundry. A dune after a headbutt but off the ropes and knocking the snot out of Bryce's nose. <laughs> a dune certainly not impressed with our so-called king. No, I heard a rumor that Bryce got his crown from a famous restaurant. Burger King? I wasn't going to say the name, but since you did... <laughs> Bryce got that headlock wrenched in 
twisting the gavel up with the wrist lock. And he gave him the Greco-Roman eye rake earlier to get to this position. Cody yeah, complaining <laughs> to Pencha about his leg still hurting. And you know what, what you know happens what, when you face the big shot. You know what I wish Ben Bay would have done? Made it tornado tag rules. No, all four men in the ring at the same time. Achiwaba. You do realize that there is only three of us sitting at the table, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, we need a There'd team be... of like eight for that. Eh, possibly. Steel cage match. That's a good idea, Lee. Glass cage match. Benja... Just getting Kane out of position not to get, get Brace out of the corner. Brace getting distracted by Benja now. Electric barbed wire steel cage match. <laughs> oh, come on, we're not going to do cattle prods here. We are talking about Bryce and Cody, Maxine. I don't care. I don't want to smell this, the stench of the his flesh burning. Yeah, Thank you know you that very is very much. Point. That's why I said class cage. Brace smashing Dune's head into that turnbuckle. I don't think think Kane even knows what to do with this match. I think I Kane, know. just like us, is shocked about the fact that a Dune is back in the VWE. Oh, and Bryce finds no one home with that running high knee into the cor corner, a Dune spinning out of the way. And he hit that cross brace too, Maxine. So he's I think... hit basically metal there. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, that this is actually the first time that Bryce does not connect with that running high knee of him. Could be right. So you're saying he's imperfect? Mm, I've been saying Bryce's that for a long number. time. Yeah, yeah, I've known that for a long time, too. Yeah, Bryce being in the perfect corner that close from Benjamin and Dune. Uh, are we gonna see a tag team move here? Ooh! <laughs> a snake eyes into Benja's boot! Nice. Ding dong. Talk about seeing stars. I think he is out cold, folks. Yeah. He's bitching and whining and moaning, as always. You know, I hear Dune has that virgin-type defense. You can't really penetrate it. Ah, uh, and Dune is back, and he is back good. An over right hand by Benja here. Uh, you gotta keep in mind this right now it's champion versus champion. United States versus World Heavyweight. Benbe sending Cody on the ropes. Benbe, you mean Benja. Benja. Wow. Yep. I'm awake. Have a five hour energy or a mountain stream, TJ. That'll wake uh, you up. No, because if I drink energy drink, I'm KO within 15 minutes. Sidewalk slam from uh, Benja, and I, I felt the re reverberations from that over here.
Um. Oh. Bryce sliding in just long enough to get Benja off of Cody. Taking out his knees with the chop lock. Pin attempt, pin attempt. No, just, just a two. But at least he's not counting one at three. Cody assisting the big guy to his feet. Nice kick to the gut and oh no. Oh no. Ooh! Slamming Cody. from Co S Slamming him around like a bloody rag doll. The name The Broken Code could be more used for more than one thing now. His back's broken, probably. Mm-hmm. Tag is made. Mm, Adun and Benja planning something here. No. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> He's got until till the count of five to get out of that there, Bryce. Oh. Gather them. <laughs> that is indeed a gavel bomb as the referee starts his ten count. Cody, if you didn't appreciate that, you can very easily say you give now. A dune booting Cody in the chest. And a dune in the wrong corner here. Look at Bryce sneaking up those steps. And referee getting in a dune's way. Um, a dune, you should you should know not to do anything there. But a dune oh. the top rope and Bryce shoving a dune. And a dune misses. And Benjamin now back in the ring. And this, this match is getting out of control. Kane has lost it here. All four men currently in the ring. A dune and Cody, the legal men, both out on the mat. And oh, Br Bryce just got knocked the fuck out. Talk about playing bumper cars. Did you see his head bounce off the the mat out here, though? <laughs> the fucking. Well, basketball. you have somebody that big coming after you, and you tell me your head ain't gonna bounce. I know. I I, I didn't say it like that was a bad thing, Maxine. I was like. Amazed, you know? And back in the ring, Gavel in with the punches, Cody returning the favor. This could all be preludes to Beach Brawl, the Gavel versus Cody, Benja versus Bryce. One big chaos, as you know, as you are used to during VWE Edge. These boys not opening the fist up. Co Cody in with the elbow to a dune. Getting a tiny little bit bit of relief for getting his blocks knocked again. And Benja just right. holding his head from those punches of Bryce as he focuses I on what happens inside the ring. I think the referee has lost control here. And Dune sending both himself and Cody on the outside with that spear. 
Well, I think it's very simple. Kane has one rule now, and that is he keeps his eye on the legal man. And if nobody gets back in before the 10 count, this match will be a double DQ, or double count out, rather. Wait a second, he's, he's saying ring the bell. Ring the bell? No contest. He's throwing the match out. He's th Wow. Yeah, smart decision, Kane. I know you weren't going to get back control of that, no offense. Uh, wow, folks. Uh, we're, we're no Ladies and gentlemen, here. our main event of the evening has been declared a no contest. Which means that all this pinned up anger, all this pinned up frustration is going to be taken with these guys to Beach Brawl next Friday. He's ringing the bell like that's going to stop him. I well, would you want to get in there, Nick? No. No. Uh, Cody, is running. <laughs> Cody is running out. I may Cody is running Max out. Maxine, I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> Cody screaming at Bryce to bring his title back with him. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, and while the chaos here continues, which will probably uh, lead on to Beach Brawl. <laughs> no surprise I, I, there. I, I think we're all out of time. We'll see you next week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> As we do a WCW ending. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone, keep in, uh, in mind that Monday you will be getting that notice, so keep your eye out, because that's when that fan week is going to start. That is Beach when you can ask Ball those wrestlers fan week. for their signatures and those pictures, when you can see for yourself firsthand the Beach Brawl stage. And, of course, this Wednesday, as always, tradition-wise, Clash at the Beach and this Friday, 5 p.m. SLT, off sim. As always, we're keeping tradition rolling. We will have VWE Beach Roll, the hottest event of the summer. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, there are hot tops. So put on that swimwear, put your calendar up for Friday, and keep it clear. Make sure that you have all your snacks, because when that clock hits 5 p.m. SLT on that Friday, you know it is time for Beach Roll. For now, my name is TJ Tyler, and I'm wishing you all a good night. Night, everyone. See you next night, week. Yes, everyone. See you next week. Good night, everybody. You, you got to admit that WCW ending was kind of funny. Uh, sorry, I ain't going to go that way. Uh, okay, I didn't know which way you were going to go. <laughs> I'm gonna go before my... This VWE video was filmed on location by Zarakin Productions. Zarakin Productions is an umbrella group for the YouTube shows Wandering with Zarakin U, Zarakin's Opinion Corner Zock, Zarakin Sessions, and a few others along with Second Life Business's Game Table with Associated Products, and the Multi-Purpose Club Music Box. For further details, please go to zarakin.com. Since 2009 the VWE continues to grow, by delivering some of the best live entertainment in Second Life to its massive fan base, and adding to its extensive library of recorded content. Various advertising packages exist to help you get your materials in front of the VWE's audience, and represent some of the best promotional packages available anywhere. Please contact the VWE staff for further details about excellent opportunities to advertise with the VWE.
To get your own ad at the end of a VWE video simply contact the VWE staff and make a commitment to film at least 45 minutes of VWE action to render afterwards in at least 720 high definition. This offer is separate from all other advertising offers as it is dependent on your ability to film VWE events and only applies to the VWE videos you film. For more details about the VWE please go to their Facebook page VWE Grid. Thank you for watching and please come to the next VWE show for some of the best entertainment in Second Life.